guys, I'm here to show you how I block my African flowers or a granny square, anything that you are blocking. And I am using, personally, I'm using one of these mini blocking boards. It's got a can on it. Uh, so this is just a little mini blocking board. I see, you see, I have all these, these little pins that are all already placed out for the shape of my hexagon. And obviously you can put them any shape you need for squares. Uh, it's limited in size. I can only fit one stack of hexagons. Like this area is not big enough for two rounds. It does come with more of these little pins. I will put the link of this board in the description. Uh, you can also just pin them out like you normally would on a blocking mat. So one of those foam tiles and, and uh, T-pins. Obviously the same process. This is how I block acrylic. So this is why I am doing this differently. When I block wool things, any wool things typically, I would just soak it in water and then lay it out flat to dry. Um, wringing it out and whatever, getting it as dry as possible, rolling in a towel, etc., like that. Maybe sometime I'll do a video on, on that as well. But as for this, since acrylic doesn't typically like block like wool does, you have to do it differently. So you typically heat, like steamed heat is a good way to what they call kill the acrylic and you have to be careful you don't want to overdo it because you will get like floppy and like it gets a little shiny like you have to be careful plus this is really hot it's hot steam i don't think you can see the steam coming out but it's hot so once you start fiddling with your hands over it it gets hot i'm gonna have to do some video magic here and edit down to my blocking board because steamers up here board is down here so but the step one is to get your item that you're gonna block. And of course I have to kind of hold these little ends so they don't get all over the place. And then for this, I just wait till the steam's coming out, it's coming out and I just kind of tap it all the way around, get the sides, but you gotta be quick because again, you don't wanna overdo it and it's hot. So I tap it around, I get the whole thing a tap and then I wanna give the back side a tap too. So, and then, yeah, you already see it just kind of flattens out. And this is when I will put it on the board. So I'll give it a quick flat and then I will put it on the board. Okay, for the next step, I find my corners, which is by these double stitches for this specific motif. So wherever I have my, I guess not corners, my apexes, that is where these double stitches are. I just slip them over. And you can stack them up. I can fit nine on here be only because I have this like chunk of extra underneath. So I will do one more for you. Okay, so again, we find the two stitches that make the apex of that side. We find our six spots. And just slide and slide them on. It's hard to see in the black. Yeah, that was right. Okay. And I will go ahead and do one more of the steam part. So I'll just kind of manipulate it out with your hands. Again, it's very hot. Feel it softening up a bit. Pull front, pull back, and you can already you can already flatten it out by hand, and then you get it onto the board. So that is it. That is how I steam block my uh, acrylic motifs. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see, please comment down below. Thanks.